If there's one thing in the entertainment industry that everybody should have been sure of in 2024, it's that Lucasfilm will still be a chaotic nightmare. That after over a decade of Kathleen Kennedy leading Lucasfilm in Disney Star Wars, that it will always be a mess and there's always going to be some sort of drama. So following the first few weeks of the year, when all the news was surrounding the Ray activist director and her comments, and then we got a big new announcement of the Mandalorian movie, then we got big news about that Ray movie. With one single outlet making a claim that their sources told them the Ray movie was delayed indefinitely. Well, after that, we obviously saw a lot of people talking about it, going with the story, talking about whether they thought it was legit, whether they thought it was not. And then scoopers started coming out and saying they're hearing the exact opposite, that not only is the Ray movie not delayed indefinitely, but they're continuing on at full speed ahead. Star Wars conflicting reports emerge about whether Daisy Ridley's Ray movie has been delayed indefinitely. The Star Wars Ray sequel is not canceled canceled despite rumors. The Star Wars Ray movie reportedly moving forward as planned and we may have a release date. So many different things flying all around. The reality is, like I said in that very first video I made when that news broke about it potentially being delayed, I said this doesn't really go in line with some of the other stuff we've heard, and in all likelihood, we're going to hear a lot of people coming out and saying something different. Now, whether people want to believe that's just Lucasfilm doing damage control, whether they want to choose to believe this scoop or that scoop or whatever, that's your prerogative, but we now do have more reports, including that they are potentially still eyeing that December 2026 release date, and we've gotten more information about what Daisy really is getting paid to come back to Star Wars, and it's a lot of fucking money. Star Wars star Daisy Ridley's bonkers rumored salary for return will shock fans. Daisy Ridley will be paid handsomely for her Star Wars return as Rey Skywalker. And now again, this is coming from Jeff Snyder, who did confirm that the movie is productions continuing as usual, that there's no infinite delay or anything like that associated with it, according to what he is saying. But he did throw a new tidbit out there about what Daisy Ridley's getting paid. Daisy Ridley must have said, show me the money in her contract negotiations to return to Star Wars. The Ray actress will return in an upcoming film and her salary has been revealed. A huge payday. Jeff Snyder of the Insider is reporting that Ridley will be paid $12.5 million to return to Star Wars. That's a big payday for the star who will make her triumphant return as Ray after over half a decade away from the role. Starting in 2015's The Force Awakens, Ridley's been playing Rey in the recent sequel trilogy. Yes, I think most people understand that. Clearly, there were big plans for, Rey, for Ridley's character, and it was in 2023 that it was confirmed she would return to a galaxy far, far away. Twelve and a half million. Now, certainly... You know, when Daisy Ridley was first cast, she was an unknown actress. She probably got paid like, you know, $300,000, $250,000 some for Force Awakens. That increased throughout The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. But $12.5 million is a lot of money. That's almost as much as it costs to do one episode of The Mandalorian, to put that in perspective. And quite simply, it's not like Daisy Ridley's a big star, a big box office draw. Now, if you want to use that character, clearly you need Daisy Ridley. But just look at the last thing that Daisy Ridley put out in theaters. Daisy Ridley's new movie is off to a terrible start at the box office. Daisy Ridley's new movie grosses less than $1 million. Can't even crack the box office top 10. Look at this. The Marsh King's daughter had a disappointing opening weekend at the box office. Despite de being directed by Divergence Neil Berger and starring Daisy Ridley, the movie failed to make an impact at the domestic box office. It only earned $849 million in, a hundred, in 1,055 theaters, failing to even make it onto the box office top 10 chart. Now, obviously, this is not some big blockbuster movie, but it is a movie where they expected more than a million dollars in its opening weekend. Now, this is with Daisy Ridley and Ben Mendelsohn, and this is something that by the end of its run, grossed less than $3 million dollars worldwide. That's what we're talking about. So I think it's safe to say that Daisy Ridley's not some massive star, some massive big box office draw when you get her outside of Star Wars. So, you know, the idea that she's getting paid 12 and a half million, that is a lot of fucking money. I certainly don't think that it should be the salary that she had when she was unknown or Force Awakens or anything like that. But that, if that's true, if that's an accurate number, 
That's basically one entire episode of The Mandalorian that you're paying just for Daisy Ridley to return to Star Wars, a character that not a lot of people are asking for. If you've made the determination that you think this character is massively popular, I just don't think that's true based on the general audience. Uh, but nevertheless, despite all the rumors that are out there, all the reports that are out there, uh, this is the big headline that's going out there that started today that Daisy Ridley's salary has been revealed and it's a lot of fucking money. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that's paid in too much? Do you think she's worth more than that? What do you think should be Daisy Ridley's salary for a return to Star Wars? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.